Now, I informed Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin sees a slumping economy that needs a large dose of Donald Trump tax cuts. I spoke with Mr. Mnuchin just a little while ago. Please take a listen. All right, welcome back. Joining us now, a very dear friend, former Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. Stephen, welcome. Appreciate it. Great to be here with you. <laughs> Reminds me of us eight years together. I know. It's just really something. Here we go again. Um, so anyway, um, tonight, of course, um, President Trump's going to speak. Uh, the whole world's going to be watching, I would imagine. What do you think he's going to say? What kind of uh, things, what kind of tone, what do you expect? Well, I'm really looking forward to the speech. And I think he's really going to talk about unifying the country and bringing the country back together and doing a lot more than he did in the first term. I mean, as, as, as you know, the Trump economy was a great economy. From a national security standpoint, the country was strong. And I, I think those are going to be the priorities we're going to see in the second term. You think he'll emphasize this theme, which he had been developing before the horrible assassination attempt that success is the best revenge and successful policies will unify the country in a way that Joe Biden's nastiness and lawfare couldn't possibly. Well, first, let me just say we're all so lucky that they missed him. Um, I think he's going to talk a lot about what he wants to do. Mm. And you know this because we worked with him for a long period of time. The president is all about results. And we got a lot done in the first term. And I think there's a lot more to do. You read the platform, the so-called 20 bullets, looked pretty growthy to me. Well, I mean, I, I think the first priority is to extend the Trump tax cuts. Mm. You and I spent a lot of time making sure this was done, and for various different reasons, we couldn't get them permanent. So I think the top priority has to be around the tax, the tax cuts. Um, I think the president has to focus on deregulation. Mm. We, we have an administration that has way overregulated the economy. Energy was a big focus for his in the first term. As you know, we were energy independent, um, and we need to get that back. And, uh, you know, I think he needs to focus on reimposing sanctions on uh, China mm -hmm. and on Iran. Iran, yes. Especially uh, to stop the money flowing to Iran. I mean, they were not selling any oil when mm -hmm. we were in office. Mm -hmm. And it's something, you know, that's such an important point. Here's China buying all this Iranian oil that. We should have stopped in the first place. China's buying Iranian oil. China's buying Russian oil. China's financing two wars against the United States, essentially. Larry, I remember sitting in the room with President Trump and President Xi mm -hmm. and him making it very clear that if they did not follow our sanctions, what the repercussions would be. And they weren't buying Iran oil. So it's, it's not a coincidence that we have all these issues in the Mideast today, because Iran is getting tens of billions of dollars, dollars, mm -hmm. that they can spend to create all different types of issues, whether it's uh, attacking Israel or attacking uh, other places. Mm. Stephen Mnuchin, uh, former Treasury Secretary, you have, you have a good batting record when it comes to the economic outlook. So I want to ask you, what you're seeing in your crystal ball, what concerns you about the economy right now? Well, I, de I definitely think we're going to see a slowdown in the economy. Um, the Fed has to cut interest rates. They were just clearly too slow on raising interest rates. They underestimated inflation. I, I was calling for years ago that we were going to have a lot of inflation. Mm -hmm. um, the Biden administration went on and just spent way too much money. I think the deficits are going to be a big issue. That's something that's going to need to be dealt with. And uh, I think that's, you know, that's got to be part of the focus. But I do think we will see interest rates coming down in Trump's second term, and I think I'll like that. You know, I was reading just uh, today some of the reports in the papers and the financial. So the market is gearing up for Fed rate cuts, as you just suggested. Um, seems to me that if they're going to do it, all right, they ought to probably do it now or, you know, soon. If they do it in September, a few weeks before the election, it could look very political, compromise their independence. Inflation you ever thought on that? You know, Larry, I, I think it's less about, you know, when they cut interest rates, because it's just one cut, and that's not going to do much. The real question is, where is the Fed going to end up? 
I think we're going to end up with three and a half percent funds as the, the target rate. So we got a lot to go between five and a quarter and three and a half. And the question will be how quickly do they lower rates? But I, th I think we've got to get back down to that level of interest rates. But you are worried about a slumping economy. I am. I see, I see the economy slowing down. I mean, if you look at, obviously, tech and AI and data centers and chips is fueling a big part of the stock market right now. Welcome to the convention. All this. They, they don't start doing this stuff until they see me here. So, but you're doing very well, and I appreciate it very, very much. On the other issue, um, Joe Biden still spending a lot of money, and he's running these huge deficits. The CBO baseline, as you probably saw, essentially two trillion dollar deficits as far as the eye can see, even though the unemployment rate is historically low. I don't see how you can have big spending and borrowing on the fiscal side and then tighter money and inflation fighting on the monetary side. Well, Larry, as, as you know, kind of, you know, un under COVID, we successfully got spending. And we had to do that because there would have been a depression, mm. not a recession. Mm. President Trump was very clear to me in saying, we got to save this economy if we're going to shut it down. And we did. And that worked really well. And we spent a couple of trillion dollars. It was really, really needed. And it saved the economy. The Biden administration went on and continued to spend several trillions of dollars that never should have been spent. And that was the reason for inflation. And now we got very big budget deficits. And by the way, we do need to spend, you know, there is a lot of money we need to spend on military. Yes. Defense is still a very yes. important issue. Um, you know, there's things like Social Security. We got to keep the Social Security Trust Fund funded. Mm -hmm. It's going to run, run out of money. That needs to be fixed. But general government spending, there's just a lot of waste. And, and I know President Trump is, is going to focus on that. Yeah, as he's been saying, I mean, talking to him, and it's in the platform, he wants to go after a lot of the wasteful spending. So I think it's high time we do that. Anyway, you're a prince to come by, Stephen Mnuchin. It's great to see you here back on The Kudlow Show. It's great to see you, period. It's been a while. Thank you ever so much.